Use this easy defensive setup to get easy sacks and more turnovers and downs. Coming up next. Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon, because I'll be rolling out uh, weekly tips uh, probably about four times a week uh, with full gameplay, so you can see me playing with these tips uh, live against real opponents online rank. So guys, I want to show you something. This is the pre-play defensive setups, and I want to tell you that I am pissed off off pissed off at EA with the stupidity of what they did is when they made the adjustments before we used to be able to make adjustments with our, our, our defensive line and linebackers with the left bumper and the right bumper but now they decided to go ahead and make the adjustments with your d-pad so what is dumbfounding to me is that as you can see that one of the, the right bumper is not getting used and we have defensive keys as the left bumper and why they didn't put those keys in the the, the d-pad is beyond me I'm just it's just I can't can't believe they decided to go ahead and make everybody relearn their motor skills to actually go ahead and make defensive adjustments and then on top of it on top of it they went ahead and throw in um, a, a, a no huddle offense which is is you can you can't even make adjustments so I just want to go ahead and say I'm just I have just stain for what they did with this game but regardless you need to have some kind of a defense to jump into this game to be successful. So we're going to go ahead and make some adjustments and, and, and prepare for uh, a defense that we can use to get pressure against our opponent. All right, so basically this defense uh, is a defense which is essentially going to go ahead and get pressure against your opponent. Um, it's fairly simple to set up, um, but... It, 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 it does take a little practice to get it down, uh, but you're going to get some fairly fast pressure against your opponent, and he's going to have to make a fast read. So uh, what's cool about it is that it, you can have universal shells in the back end of it, and it's out of the 34 defense, which has been a popular defense, and it's got really effective heat. So you can use any shell. You can use a cover three shell. You can use a cover two shell. Uh, you can use a cover four shell or cover six shell. That gives you some flexibility when you're playing against your opponent because then you can give them a different look that he's not expecting to see. So uh, that will give you a huge difference in adjustments. But we're going to use cover four drop uh, show two because it's a real good balanced defense that we can use and we can go ahead and leverage it uh, with other types of coverages. And we're going to use this against the CPU. We're going to do basically shotgun passes. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to baseline and show blitz. We're going to get our guys down in the box. That's going to be the first adjustment. So baseline, you're going to go ahead and hit your left triangle button or Y button and flip off to the left stick. And then we're going to show blitz by hitting the left the the Y or triangle button and show blitz to go and get those guys in the box. So let's go ahead and see if we can set this up again. Get these guys down in the box so when you get them down to the box that's that's good now here's where things get a little bit more complicated we want to go and use our left pad to actually go ahead and slant inside with our defensive line so left pad and then we're going to slant inside with the right pad and we're going to hit the right pad which is a linebacker assignment which is going to be the d-pad right pad and we're going to go ahead and blitz all now what i found is more consistent if you blitz all and the blitzing linebacker that you play in the middle of the field even if you leave him on a blitz, he can peel off the line. So he doesn't necessarily engage like he did last year. This year, he actually, you can peel him off on the blitz. Now, finally, if you have time, what I like to do is hit the light left bumper and, and pass commit. And then another thing I like to do is QB contain. This kind of gets the pressure in there. And what you're going to see is the pressure is going to come in raging against the, against the CPU. Uh, and even if he, he's going to have to block seven to go and stop it. So let's see, we got a little motion right here. You can see the pressure just comes in hot, crazy hot. And if he doesn't block a running back, he's basically not going to stop it. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this in instant replay. Once again, the adjustment is going to be base align, show blitz. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, crash our defensive line, or crash them down. And then we're going to blitz all of our linebackers. 
and then we're going to go ahead and uh, pass commit and then QB contain. And we're going to use our, one of our inside linebackers over the guard. We're going to try to engage that blocker. So you can see number 60, 65 right here. We're going to highlight 65. He's engaged with me right now, but look how quickly I pull off. I pull off and I take away from my routes. And because he does not, he sends five, I've got two coming in clean for easy pressure off the edge. So this is just a basic defense. This is a defense that a lot of players have used. Line show blitz. Got the blitz set up right here. And that pressure is going to get in hot. He's going to have to get rid of that ball really quick. So, what's good about this figure play is that um, you can use this uh, with all, the, all different types of coverages against your opponent. So he's going to have a hard time reading it, and you can make a very quick adjustment to do that. So we'll just jump into cover two. And even if the linebacker is at depth, you're still going to get that edge pressure that's going to come off clean. So now we've got a cover two shell. So he's going to play. He's not going to fall back. He's going to come underneath. I've got two cover two shells against against my opponent. And I still got that clean pressure just coming off the edge. It's going to get in. And if he did block his running back, I had another guy that's actually going to come in uh, in the A gap with this setup. So we got the pressure set up once again. And very very easy pressure to go and get, get 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 against your opponent. So this is a this is a nice little base blitz that you can use against your opponent. Uh, it is uh, you know it, it does have his weaknesses. Um, I got ran on. Um, sometimes I actually made um, some uh, some bad decisions as far as. Uh, basically the way the, the play was set up but it's a very easy defense to set up uh, with the adjustments and once you get them down uh, you can get pretty consistent pressure against your opponent and you can get easy uh, easy sacks against them at least force them to get rid of the ball quick enough so guys if you do like these tips make sure you hit the like button I'll be rolling out some more of these tips, uh, defensive tips and strategies coming up, and then I'm going to be rolling out more offensive tips and strategies too. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thank you for support, and until next time.